Hey guys, this is Scott the Gastric Tiger coming at you here with another update. Uh, I know, two weeks in a row. <coughs> two weeks in a row, crazy, right? Um, the first thing I just wanted to start out by saying thank you to everyone who watched my previous video and uh, commented and left such kind things to say. Um, I know that we all to one degree or another, um, before and after surgery, have some body acceptance issues. And um, it just felt good to know that, you know, first, I, that I'm not crazy. And second, that, um, you know, I'm not alone. So thank you guys for all your kind words. And um, I really do appreciate it. A topic that came up quite a bit in um, a few videos and comments and uh, conversations I've had since that uh, video posted. Um, one of the things I really want to talk about is um, about comparison. Now, comparison is not entirely a bad thing. Um, comparison can be very good. Uh, Comparison can give us an idea of where we're going to end up. You know, when we first have surgery, it's kind of like this just big old roller coaster that we strap ourselves into and we throw our hands up in the air and we just say, we'll figure out where this thing goes. And you know, it's really nice to have some people out there to compare ourselves to and say, hey, you know, where does this thing end? Uh, what does the end look like? Uh, what can I expect um, to eventually uh, uh, get down to? And, you know, physically, what will I be able to do? And so it's really nice to have people in the community to um, compare ourselves to and um, get some uh, get ideas about, you know, endgame. Comparison also can be a good thing because it can breed a little bit of competition. Um, you know, I'm a very competitive person. I know a lot of us are very competitive people. And so, uh, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of, uh, necessarily rivalry, but some other people out there to, uh, push us to do our best and, um, to compare ourselves to, uh, as far as our abilities and, um, to see, uh, to see where we can push ourselves to go. So that's good too. Um, so comparison can can be good, but the farther out I get from surgery, the more I realize that comparison really has some really big pitfalls to it too. Um, one of the things uh, that's that I, I've talked to a few different guys in the community, and. Um, one of the interesting things that comes up is uh, where they looked at me and was saying, "Man, you've been you've been hitting hard in the gym, and you're really pushing yourself hard, and you're doing some some amazing things." And I look right back at him and I say, "I've been pushing myself really hard just to try to keep up with you, you know." And so I think sometimes. Um, Comparison kills our confidence in in what we're doing and um, to where we are. And, uh, you know, that, uh, that can be very problematic, you know, because it always makes us think that we're not, we're not good enough. We're just not quite there. Uh, we, need, we need to go a little bit further just to be able to be like that person or that other person who uh, is, is posting, you know, selfies in the gym or uh, things. And nothing wrong with selfies. Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm guilty of that. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to log my, my 200 workouts this year, but I'm doing that for me and to show uh, where I am and, uh, I don't think anybody should compare themselves to each other when it comes to uh, to what we do about that sort of thing. We all have very different lives. We come from different places. Um, we're very different people. We have different 
body builds. Uh, we have uh, different obligations in our lives. And so um, to make ourselves feel less than someone else because we're not putting in the time as much as someone else or uh, we're not getting quite the, the same results um, as far as that muscle build or, or being able to run farther or anything like that, you know, we should be able to just be confident in who we are and our amazing abilities that we have. Um, if you would have told me at the very beginning of my journey, when I first started looking into weight loss uh, surgery, if you would have told me that at this point that I would have gotten down to 220 pounds and that I'd be able to do some of the things that I can do, I would have said, you're crazy. No way. That's not possible. And right after that, I'd say, if it is possible, heck yeah, sign me up for that. You know, and I think sometimes once we get there, once we get to the end, we start saying, hmm... So-and-so is able to do this. So-and-so is in the gym this much. And uh, so-and-so got down to this weight. And you know what? I think, I think that's bad to a certain degree. Because not only does it kill our confidence, but it also kills our, uh, our contentment. And so... Um, We're not happy with where we are. We're not happy with the amazing things that we can do now. And we're not, we're not content with the amazing people that we are because we're always trying to push ourselves to be a little bit better, a little bit more, get to the gym a few more days, get a couple more hours in, get our muscles a little bigger, you know get our waist a little smaller and you know there's more to life than all that you know there's more to people than just their bodies and what they can do and uh, you know some of the people that I've loved the most in my life were big people and you know I'm, I'm I've spent over a year focusing on fitness and the way my body looks and you know when you get to the end there comes a point where you need to pull back a little bit and realize that the weight loss surgery world is not the whole world uh, and we're good people all of us um, Not just good people, but we're amazing people. So, that's my take on uh, comparison. Um, can be good, but really can be very bad too. So, um, just be careful. Uh, think about more than just uh, comparing yourself to other people. But uh, try more to just compare yourself to yourself. You know, if you want to push yourself to be better, there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't try to push yourself to be someone else. So, that's really what I have. Um, as far as stuff in my personal life, I'm going to be traveling this weekend. Uh, going to see a good friend. Um... In Colorado it's gonna be my first time there uh, so uh, I'm sure you'll see plenty of uh, selfies and ussies as uh, as I'm skiing in the mountains and uh, doing some cool stuff so anyway thank you guys for watching uh, two weeks in a row man I'm, I'm on a roll um, maybe I'll get another one to you next week we'll see um, so I guess uh, until next time 
Just remember to get out there and have the courage to be the new you this week. All right. Thank you guys very much.